still in bracket, but it, the journey hand just became that much longer for him. Zach Ray, phenomenal job, man. I expect to see him later. Oh, yeah, and shout out to Silent Rank, dude. Bringing, bringing the fourth seed yes. of this tournament to last talk, very impressive play. And oh, yeah. like you said, it, it all came down to how he gimped Zach Ray. And, and we're saying the biggest strength of Zach Ray is how he recovers. So mm -hmm. he, he's able to cover his character's weaknesses really well. So, I mean, just amazing display. And the fact that Silent Ring was even able to get a handful of gimps, you know, shout outs to him. And the fact that he did play really, really well that game too. Brought him down to the last stock, but Zachary was able to close that out. But yeah, I mean, I'm really excited to just commentate Zachary games because I, you know, I started Main and Wolf like three or four days ago, you know. Okay, good stuff. After, good stuff. after I, I got hit by a couple down smashes at 40, I was like, you know what? I you think were playing I, Sheik, weren't you? I, I was playing Fox. Fox, that's what it was. So Fox, I was playing Fox and then, you know, when you die to 40% to a down smash, I'm like, you know what? I think I see the light, man. I, I think see I the see the, the true space. That's right, man. A down smash <laughs> will do that to you sometime, man. Yeah, and also, too, Silent Rain, uh, you know, he was getting him off stage. Typically, uh, a lot of Marios will get a get a Fox or Falk off stage, you know, then try to read which way Fox yeah. Fusion is going. They will try to cape it or try to nair it. Obviously, you don't quite have that luxury versus, uh, you know, versus Wolf because you run into it the wrong way. You know what's about to happen oh, to you, man. man you don't want to run into that side B, man. I'm telling you. Or you don't, I mean, hell, there's certain times you don't even want to run into up special. We seen. Up special hit him into the legend stage after and the he stage actually set. got reversal. Yeah, and he got reversal, and he was out of a jump. I was yeah. like, "Damn, Damn Zach Ray! <laughs> even when you look like you're losing, you're still winning. <laughs> <laughs> How are we supposed to beat you?" Yeah, and that side B does have three different variations too. When you okay. side B, you can hold up, you can hold down, fluctuate that angle a little bit. That's right. So he does have still, he still does have mix ups, not like crazy mix ups, no. but you know, it, it is a you know a little cherry on top. You know, right? That's right. But Definitely man, bringing something new to the table here. But hold up, mm. hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up. No, you do it. Take it away. 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 It got it. We got to get the introduction the right way. The, Let me the hear. penguin. The penguin invasion. The penguin. Oh, the penguin. If you're in the chat, I better see some damn penguins. I want to see some happy feet. All right, yeah. I want to see the penguins, all right? <laughs> yeah, and um, right now, Leffen's profile picture on uh, Twitter is actually a penguin. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's, it's actually great. I love the penguin memes. And I love the fact that a lot of Melee players actually really enjoy this game. And yes, we, yes. We're, we're Leffen right now is the second biggest streamer for Smash Ultimate. And I, I love the interaction that we're getting from both communities, really bringing the whole Smash community together. And let's see what we have here. We got Seagull Joe. Used to be a wolf main in Brawl. Yes. Now... Um, you know, Smash Forward couldn't play Wolf, but now he plays Wolf. And Leffen, of course, on that Pokemon trainer. That's right, but Leffen also has a nice Wolf of his own. We can't sleep on the match. Oh, yeah. You know, obviously being being very proficient in multiple versions of Smash. Had a pretty decent Diddy Kong in Smash 4. We've seen what he's done in Melee. I mean, unless you've been living on the rock, you look that man up on Wikipedia, all right? We know he's about to do here in Smash Ultimate. He's throwing down here now. Yeah, he's so talented. Like, and yes. the one thing about Leffen too is he just picks up games really quick. He even played. He went professional in DBZ Fighter, and that's yes. not even a Smash game. This man is just talented. He's really good at picking up any fighting game and just pushing the meta. Yes, all right, pushing it to the absolute limit here. But speaking of being pushed, I mean Leffen being pushed off stage, and he's switching off from Squirtle, going into Ivysaur, and I don't blame him. Obviously, Ivysaur has the ability to kind of space out Wolf a little bit more with his uh, with his Razor Leaf, and then of course like short hop forward or away. Yes. Um, but then on top of that, you know, you also trade a little bit of your maneuverability that you're blessed with with Squirtle for some kill power. And look, man, there's certain characters in this game that are nutty, and then there's Ivysaur, okay? I'm like, yes. look, I'm happy that we don't get a lot of Ivysaur, that he has to switch sooner or later because uh, forward air into up air, up oh. air into up air, Razor Leaf into up air. Just what? up air? Up or just <laughs> up air. <laughs> what is going on in here? Yeah, and I think we can both agree uh, Ivysaur is definitely the strongest Pokemon free. Free, 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 free. And he's just very strong. And, like, just his zoning abilities, the down air, ooh, but the up smash. And Leffen loves to do that with Charizard. Just nail the kill with the up smash and switch right back to the Ivysaur. Mm -hmm. And Ivysaur, like you said, that consistent zoner, he has absurdly huge hitbox. The up air, the down air, mm -hmm. really good for those juggles and offstage situations. That's right. He kind of takes a page out of Wolf's book in certain cases. You know, he uses yeah. projectiles kind of like him to not only kind of keep the opponent away, but also find those openings. Now, in terms of you know projectile game and projectile pressure wolf is a little outclassed just you know ivy so obviously just not short of any tools but yeah um i still think that seagull joe can try to figure out a way to get in here you know 144 percent certainly nothing to sneeze at ivy Sword has some rage on his behalf but seagull joe man if we can just get one solid conversion there's the nair he's off stage now not oh that was actually smart okay so yeah. he actually got him off stage i thought he was actually going to try to force him to switch over into Dang. squirtle but he decided to stay and use his uh vine whip to get back yeah, and really good uh, pressure being on the ledge right there from left and the ledge drop up B is a projectile, essentially, and it's just dealing so much pressure and right now Leffen is still alive he still has three stocks Seagull Joe cannot find this stock and I'm telling you right now those blasters aren't gonna kill him 
No, absolutely not. But that back throw is still Ooh. not going to be enough to do it. But all the way in the magnifying glass. Yes, left in a beautiful DI. Right there, he just held straight down, reduced the knockback, and make sure he didn't die off the top. But the poke of the foot. That's right. Like I said, you got you to gotta respect the claws at the end of that boot, all right? Oh, yeah. Okay, now there's the short hop bear looking to smother Charizard here. He's going to stick to Charizard, obviously, because Charizard has to kill Pop. But instead, he decides to change his mind. We back over to Squirtle now. Oh, Ivysaur again? Oh, yeah. Okay. And I mean, we're going to see mainly Ivysaur, but I do really like left. Oh, the double dash attack, though. And I like the switch. So a lot of people, um, if you don't know, the switch is very quick and you do also are intangible in the beginning of That's it. So if true. you are, if you don't have an air dodge, oh, and uh, again, the up smash using that Charizard to seal the stock, the mm -hmm. big bulky fighter of the three. That's right, man. I know on paper it's like, all right, I'm Wolf. He switched over to Charizard. Mm. I'm going to try to combo you to Oblivion, but and he's then not he switched, allowing it. Like, he switched to Squirtle and then racked up 50. Like, the way Leffen is utilizing Pokemon trainers, like, the fact that there's three characters, one, he's doing it so well. That's right, man. He wants to be the best like no one ever was, and he's yeah. currently holding true to the name here. Okay. And I just, I, I love the character design of Pokemon Trainer because it's like you have three characters in one, and that's kind of like how Pokemon plays. You want to, like, counterpick in certain situations and stuff like that. Yes. Oh, mm. damn! I like the conditioning with the double dare on the ledge. I was never meant to yes. connect. Got him to roll back on. I like the turnaround forward smash. We didn't see not one forward smash from Ivysaur that whole game. That was really smart stuff. Man, and Leffen just really, like, Seagull Joe's a very seasoned brawl and smash four vet yes, sir. from MDVA. He's a great player. And the fact that of Leffen, course. like, kind of bodied him right there, that was a that was a very solid victory. And like you said, I, that conditioning from the down air, mm -hmm. that was never even meant to hit. No. And he, he drifted back. Because after you do down air, it kind of pumps you up a little bit, yes, and sir. you can drift back. And he, he used that little drift back, those just little new things. That's mids. That's yes, mids. Just yes. to get in position. Like, actually, I'm not trying to down air you. I want you to roll. Yes. And the thing is, too, like, after that down air, Seagull Joe could have thought that he was maybe going to get stage bite, so maybe he buffered roll in that situation as well. Mm -hmm. Levin kind of seeing that and was able to get the roll read with the forward smash. The only time he really used it with Ivysaur. That's right, man. He was kind of a step ahead of Seagull Joe there. And, of course, we don't want to take anything away from Seagull. Seagull certainly has some history behind him. Oh, like yeah. you said, phenomenal brawl veteran. Did a very phenomenal job as well in, uh, in Smash 4. But... Uh, you know, I think you know one of his biggest accolades was the fact that he was able to defeat Zero at the Big House Five too. So yes. he knows how to tangle with some of the best in the world. And Leffen, obviously, looking like one of the best himself here in the Smash Ultimate. Not the best game number one. Game number two, though, starting out a little bit more even for him, though. Man, trying I, to get pushed off stage here. He's got to get off that top platform. Yeah, and here comes Squirtle again. Like we said, that combo character, you know, gets the 50%. Now switching the Ivysaur, we see the rhythm. We see the game plan coming mm -hmm. out for Levin here, utilizing all three of the characters. And most Pokemon trainers, they really centralize around Ivysaur. But I love how Levin utilizes all of the characters. Yeah, the meta kind of switches. Um, it's kind of like uh, the same thought process you have when you play against a show. Yeah. You know, like he's certain he's, you know, in, in attack art. Okay. Well, or smash art, excuse me. Now he's, you know, I have to approach the character in one type of way. Right. But now he's in shield. Now I got to approach him a different type of way. The same could be said here for Pokemon Trainer. You know, you certainly have a game plan in hand, but hell, when you go from Squirtle back over to Charizard in the blink of an eye, it kind of throws you off. Yeah, it can be really hard to deal with. And right now, I really love Leffen's usage of the up B. He's doing such a good job getting those off the top, top snipes and just even doing ledge drop up B mm -hmm. is really good at, like, taking away the pressure from the ledge. Yes, sir. Actually, we, we got to respect the up special too that Ivysaur has because up special also has a sweet part uh, on it as well too. So, I mean, obviously it puts on damage, but if you get hit with that sweet part, you're going to be here for a world of hurt. All right, okay. so I like that. Using the dash tag gets right up underneath the backer there. Playing mm -hmm. a little bit more fearless this time. I think that last game is a little bit more cautious on how he decided to deal with left. And this time he's shown that, look, I still play Wolf. Wolf is a very dominant character. I'm going to show you what this guy can do. Man, and I really want to point out how good Leffen is at getting off the ledge. Really great back air there mm -hmm. from Seagull Joe, but... He just, it's really hard to ledge trap Levin. He, he does all these very little minute things and it, he just gets off the ledge. He's so efficient at it. I I haven't seen Seagull Joe really ledge trap Levin yet. No, absolutely not. We want to see a little bit more of that. Oh yeah, for sure. But now Seagull Joe has the lead. Again, look at that switch. Gonna give him that Ooh. intangibility. Kind of like an air dodge there. Yes, I love that up. I love the up throw into the upper. I want to see more landing punishes. Charizard obviously, you know, has a couple jumps. A lot of very large and active hitboxes as he decides to get back onto the main stage. But at the end of the day, man, Wolf can kind of be everywhere at once when he's up underneath. I want to see more punish from up underneath. Especially if you're not going to, especially if you're going to be a little cautious on how you decide to go off stage. Exactly. And a beefy up air coming out from left near. Gets the forwarder, but not able to connect that neutral. And that Ivysaur neutral is such a big hitbox. It is. Really, really good move. Ooh, uh, down throw up air into oh, up air. What did I talk about? <laughs> what did I talk about, man? This character is crazy. Yeah, I mean, and 
and that's the that's the crazy thing too. Like I feel like Ivysaur almost kind of does it all. He's got the kill. The only thing he doesn't have is that tankiness that um, Charizard has, but he's got the kill powers. He's got the combos. But too. you know what we haven't quite seen a lot of? He's kind of just using Ivysaur as you know this projectile character to kind of keep Wolf at bay or to kind of yes, trade yes. projectiles. Put put that slight pressure on that slight small percent like we talked about but it's, it's more squirtle and and you know i guess more charizard as well too that are kind of cleaning up the plate here yeah for sure uh, he, like Levin's just doing such a good job of using utilizing charizard even in these like higher percent situations here i'm actually surprised he's still on the ivy store here gonna just tank it out but um charizard really good at tanking out stocks as well because of just his sheer weight he oh, wait, 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 wait a minute. No. Okay, he showed him a little bit too much respect on a ledge. Yes. Single Joe has Lee here. Let's see what he's going to do to it. Okay, we got the switch over to Squirtle. Squirtle can combo Fox, can combo Wolf to death. Oh, yeah. This little guy has got the combos. The switch there into Ivysaur. And now Leffen is in a situation, since he's on the defense a lot from... Uh, Seagull Joe, he's used. He's forced to use these switches defensively. That's right. Then after that situation is done, he, he's kind of like stuck on the character. He knows now. He said, "Look, I'm gonna get up here on this top platform. I'm gonna try to avoid that vine whip." Okay, he still gets the dash attack though. I like it. Some of the lasting frames of that yes. move. Yes, very meaty move coming out from Wolf, almost like that neutral air. That's right. Okay, uh, gonna get a throw. Oh yes, that's not gonna wow. quite be enough. But he is off stage. Let's see what Leffen can turn it into. Oh, Saves nice. his jump. Yes, he's a big body. He has to respect Wolf's side special out there. Yep, exactly that. That Flash Wolf, such a great tool, and going to get back on the stage, but Levin closing it out with the Zard. That's right. Okay. Tries to scoop him up off the ledge. Phenomenal read right by my man Levin. I like his defensive options, but okay, Ooh, nice. The switch in the Charizard. Better recovery here. Going to get back on the stage, and he's got that weight, too. Can Seagull Joe seal out this stock? He's trying. He's trying his hardest. Oh, dang, the Squirtle, though. Squirtle's Come cooking. Hold up. <laughs> Squirtle now came out swinging, man. And I like the uh, ballsy pick there from Leffen. Okay, using that ledge chain, going to get right past those down smashes, but essentially switching to Squirtle at 150, like almost kind of un unexpected. The back throw is going to seal it out, and like we said, the spacey with the kill throw. That's right. I gotta, I gotta give it to Squirtle, man. You know, you got homies, but then you got, you got <laughs> like Squirtle's that homie that you yeah, call like, hey, yo, I'm being messed with. He just shows up, starts swinging, and then asking questions later, man. That's, that's he literally came out the pokeball for oh, him. Oh, dude. Oh, yeah. He he came out swinging. Like, he was already swinging, like, out the pokeball, That's man. Right. It was just crazy. Like, yo, you messing with my mans? That's like, right, man. come in, racked up that 50%. And, and Levin was so close to bringing that back. That yeah, And that clutch factor. Yes. That's one thing, like, Levin did flub that one stock. He but did. for the most part, he's so consistent. And, you know, he he didn't really play Smash 4 that much. And I, in, in terms of melee players, I have the most faith in Levin, at least in the early meta. Of course. To, like, really show off what melee players can do because he his his learning curve is just so, so quick. It's ridiculous. I think what kind of hurt him was the fact that he spent a lot of time off stage between all three characters. And I think subconsciously yeah. he kind of messed up his recovery option. Right, he was right. trying to kind of hang out on the ledge. Something that you see a little bit more from Squirtle. Maybe not as much with Ivysaur. But regardless, though, game number two obviously didn't quite go his way. Game number three, ladies and gentlemen, all comes down to this. And if this is a nail-biting set for us, I know the people behind us and the people in the Twitch chat are definitely sweating, too. Let's get it home sweet home for Pokemon Trainer. Let's do it. Oh, yeah. Now we're on Pokemon Sam 2. Shout out to the uh, soundtrack on this stage. It man. is so it's darn crisp. good. The music and Ultimate in general, man. Oh, it's yeah, crisp. It we is. haven't had good jams like that since Brawl, man. Oh, yeah. Okay. And, and I just like the fact that, like, more people start on this stage instead of Smashville 2. Yo, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> All so right, man. Game number three, of course, the Squirtle. And I, it feels like uh, most... Like, like I said, most Pokemon trainers will start off with the Ivy Sword because it is like that zoner pick, but mm. Leffen likes to start with the Squirtle. That's right, you know, and I don't blame him. Squirtle, very quick character, can kind of get in and out. He yes. got to get out of a lot of sticky situations as well. The thing you have to watch out for the most is how light Squirtle is in comparison to somebody like a Wolf. Right. Wolf hits like a ton of bricks no matter what's going on in the match. I Pokemon trainer only hits like a ton of bricks, maybe a third of the match, so you really have to utilize your tools, man, proficiently here. Exactly, and right there, like you said, you pointed out, you know, when Leffen was getting around that 80%, 100%, we see the switch uh, switch into the Ivy Sword. You know, get a little bit more meat on those bones. Mm -hmm. Now he's got the Razor Leafs going, but Seagull Joe is not fighting. He is going over these projectiles, coming down with the Nair, and right now Leffen in a really sticky situation. Oh, God. Oh, oh wait, wait a minute. Wait a second. Gets the down tilt into the vine whip. I love it. Oh, oh how did he know? How did, how did he know that he was going to recover high and not snap a left left and a step ahead wow, of the competition here? Seagull Joe, though, still can bring this thing back 160%. Yeah. Obviously not the worst position to be in the world. Can certainly be much better, though, especially against a character like Wolf. And I want to say clutch that was like the one word i want to just like yes. literally describe levin in that situation he was down 160 percent he got the one hit he needed got wolf off stage and that's where the character is weak and he got him he got that forest match and right now already ragging 63 percent 
extending this lead. That's right, playing to his weaknesses. I like that, trying to keep him back into the corner, but there's that dash attack we've seen once before. If the pressure gets a little bit too thick, we'll start to see Siegel Joe go for a lot in there. Oh, oh, dash oh, 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 no way! No way! Hold on a what? second. What? Hold up a second. Yeah, he almost died at 80. He almost died at 80. Wow, what a play, and that's such a good read on the laser, but the back throw, the back throw is going to do it. Wow, what a crazy play coming out from left, and that's so smart. That's right, smooth, okay. On the ledge, I like the pressure here. He's stuck though, man. We've been seeing a lot of nares and a lot of back airs. Oh, wait, is he about to do it again? Okay, yeah, he's about he, to go yeah. for the double dare <laughs> into the turnaround forest match that we've seen in game number one. How much tricks does this guy have? Leffen is so tricky and just with these little minute things as well. Now we have the zoning game, but Leffen has the percentage lead and he has the up air to seal out that second stock from Siegel Joe. All right, there's the falling up air. Things aren't looking very good here for my man Siegel Joe, but I will say that we've seen a lot of adaptation from game number one to game number two. So if he can tap back into that here for yeah. his final moments, he will be sitting. Pretty. There's the bullet seed. That was definitely an accident. <laughs> we, don't, we don't use that move on purpose. We don't use that move on purpose. You're right? right, though. You're right. And I feel like we're seeing a more of a game one left in where he's just so hard to kill. He got to 180% at that last stock. But right now, Seagull Joe opening it up, getting him to 100%. What's the ledge trap here? The Nair going to take him out. But wait a minute. Sure, the Nair. Once more, he's taking him from one end of Pokemon Stadium. To oh, no. Another. Double back here. Okay. There's the Razor Leaf. I like that. The Razor Leaf is supposed to yeah, pop him yeah. up. Then uh, Up Special obviously was supposed to push him off stage. Oh, the dash attack, but can Seagull Joe seal out this stock? Levin's defense is so strong. He just holds on to the stock. Wait a minute, and you don't ever want to give Levin that opening. He's so strong. Once he puts you in that disadvantage, the offstage and the ledge trapping is so good from Levin. Once more. Oh, Press wait a minute. Up. Oh, my God. A, nut, you guys, oh. a lot of buttons here, Korean. An amazing positioning on that backer from Levin. And bullet seed. Wow. Okay, <laughs> He's utilizing that. everything. Yeah, he's using every aspect of Ivysaur. We haven't even seen very much of Squirtle or Charizard in this entire match. Gets the double back here. Oh, 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 and the forward smash to seal it out. Leffen with the 2-0.